What's up, guys? Seth here, Tasty Loot Gaming, Tasty Bit. Tasty Bit is uh, is essentially a small clip. Lately, they, they haven't been so small. Um, uh, of just random thoughts in, uh, in our heads at the time. Um, this Tasty Bit is in response to the last Tasty Bit I did for Mad Max. On the flip side, Melgar Slot 5 has come out, came out last Tuesday. Um, or technically... Uh, the Tuesday before last Tuesday, since that was a couple days ago, um, and uh, and the game's fantastic. You're probably playing it like everybody else. Um, everybody's loving it, which is so cool to fucking hear. As a huge Milk Salt fan, I'm glad that everybody can be excited about this game that I'm that I'm loving so much. Um, but uh, in case you're not playing it and you're afraid to watch anything on it because of spoilers or whatever, I'm going to be playing a side ops mission real quick. Side ops missions essentially sometimes can be story driven, but most of the time are not. Um, I'm going to do a real quick one just to kind of show you, first off, what it looks like on PC. Hopefully my fucking OBS software records it well. I have problems with that sometimes, as you've probably noticed, um, working on it. And... Uh, and yeah, kind of show you my play style, what I'm enjoying about the game. I'll use low-level stuff. You're not going to see anything that you'd see hours into the game. I'll use basic stuff. And uh, yeah, just kind of kind of show you uh, the terrain of the first area and uh, and just just what you're missing if you're not playing it. If you are playing it, uh, as a conversation piece, check out check it out. I'm fucking I'm playing it too. Uh, what, what do you think? What do, what do you do differently? What what's your favorite kind of uh, Infiltration method. Do you like to sneak in without being seen? Do you like to sneak in and fucking murder everybody? Do you like to Fulton everyone out? Do you like to just take a grenade launcher and fucking just lob grenades into town and, and piss people off? Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's let's get into that. Okay, guys, uh, Milk Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Um, like I said before, this should be pretty spoiler proof. I am 42% through the game. Um, I think I'm on episode 41 or 42 of uh, the storyline and in chapter 2 of the storyline. So, not necessarily the furthest in it, but I'm also not right in the beginning. So, we're going to do a early on mission uh, with all of Drab uh, camo and some pretty basic guns. I'm going to stealth in and uh, take dudes out. Um, in this mission, I have to extract a highly skilled soldier to bring him back to Mother Base. Um, so let's do that. It looks like it's in the bigger town. And uh, I'm gonna come in from the north. Heading to Afghanistan. Commence. Hold on, I gotta I gotta I gotta get to my song, I gotta get pumped. This is this is my shit. If any of you uh, played Peace Walker. Uh, which originally came out for the, I think, the Vita? Came out for the one of the, the portables, Sony portables. And then it eventually came out for the uh, PS3. That's how I played it. Uh, you'll recognize this theme song, which I fucking love, love, love. I get to hear it all the time, every time I'm uh, doing this stuff. Let's do this. Gonna go in at night time like everyone should. Um, but also, be warned if you have not played this game or um, if you are playing this game and you're not that far, uh, the enemies will adapt to you. So if you come in at night all the time, they're gonna start finding ways to adapt to that. Just like if you uh, if you go about certain ways of taking them out, they will uh, they will start learning. Which is pretty neat. I swear that horn's getting bigger. That motherfucker.
Got to do your, uh, your stretches, your yoga before you go and do a mission. Make sure you don't cramp up afterwards. Gotta go left. Okay, so, um, let's do some reconnaissance. God damn. For some reason, I, I play some PC, and on Steam, there's a Steam overlay when, you, when I hit uh, tab and shift together. Um, that will pop up, you know, if you have Steam, you know what I'm talking about, but it pops up your chat and friends list, all the shit. Um, for some reason in this game, anytime I hit the shift button when I start a mission, it just pops up randomly. So, um, I'm not sure what that's about, because it doesn't do it in other games. Um, okay, so, Analysis let's complete. out these night vision goggles. Analysis complete. This motherfucker. Here vehicle. from here. Okay. You'd figure that they would be watching that area a little better. The big building with the fucking red all over it. But maybe that's a trap. Maybe that's intentional. Alright, let's fucking do this. Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay, so I gotta find a highly skilled soldier and fucking steal him, kidnap him. Uh, a lot of a lot of people don't really realize, because you know, you're new to Metal Gear Solid, you're like, what's the storyline? Well, the storyline is there was this master kidnapper back in the fucking 60s through 80s um, that just kept stealing people, and then finally, um, the government's like, you gotta stop fucking kidnapping people. And he's like, fuck you, what, what's my name? They're like, Big Boss. Like, exactly, I'm Big Boss. I fucking make the rules. I kidnap who the fuck I want, when the fuck I want. So they're like, okay, we gotta, we gotta clone this dude. So they put a fucking, they put a little, little needle in his ass when he was in a coma. Cause kidnapping gets fucking tiring and he, and he got really tired. And they took the sample and they fucking cloned 18 fucking kidnappers from him. And only one fucking um, solid snake had to had to go stop him um, from kidnapping people. And Salt Snake, he never he never kidnapped anyone. Liquid did. Liquid kidnapped a bunch of people. He kidnapped the fucking DARPA chief and fucking he kidnapped uh, some of some other people. Um, Metal Gear Solid is just just a legacy of kidnappers. That's all. So if you're curious, about, oh shit. Updated. 
All right, dude. Well, sorry. I gotta. I gotta do this. Normally, I'd kidnap you, but. Mother base a little full. We uh, we met max capacity a while ago, so that's the guy I need right there. Let's see if I have anything at my disposal. I'm trying not shoot a bullet at all because I don't have any silencers on me because I'm using early weapons. Um, let me just get this motherfucker real quick. So like I said before, one thing I really enjoy about this game is um, just the, the the freedom to be able to do whatever the fuck you want in these situations. Um, I could just shoot these guys, set off alarms, fucking run in and grab that guy, and that'd be really easy and I could just leave. Or I could put C4 at all communications towers um, uh, and knock the electricity out and just fucking go run in and grab him and they wouldn't be able to tell anybody about it. Um, one second. Now have to take two. What was that noise? Huh? Drink. Anything and now I have to kill you because you're fucking. You're getting in my fucking business, all right? I told you the last time I saw you and put a knife in you to stay out of my fucking business, and you didn't do it. Shit! I might regret this. But I'm a kidnapper, I have to do it. You gonna extract him? I am. I did. Get ready for him. Make sure he gets the uh the fucking Oh shit. Care package. Another thing too I really like about this is as you saw I ran up and grabbed that guy and threw him down. If I run in and grab one of these guys, I can grab the other one too in the time that it takes for him to get out of the uh, reaction uh, phase, if you know what it's called. Okay, mission's over. I could just leave right now, but that'd be boring, so I'm just gonna fucking... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some weird shit, so... Let's, uh... Let's throw one of these motherfuckers in here. Can't you wait in, huh? Can't you wait in, huh? <gasps> you should be leaving! <gasps> it's pretty scary, huh? Can't you wait in, huh? Oh, hello. Goodbye. See what you got. Speak. Where are your friends? Where are your friends? The map has been updated. Gnarly man. This is a gnarly motherfucker. Catch you waiting, huh? Catch you waiting, huh? Ooh, Jesus Christ, scared the fuck out of me. Okay. Let's do it. Analysis. They have really beefed up security Analysis. since the last time I came here. There used to be like five dudes in this whole town. 
Another thing too that they that they did in this game that really just fucking sells it for me is you got to get resources in the game, and I'm a little past the point where I need to be doing the, all the manual labor myself, but it does add a little bit to the game when you are creeping around and you're looking for shit to take. Um, it, it almost it almost harkens back to like DayZ for me, and it's weird because it's not. I mean, this is fucking Metal Gear Solid, but these plants go towards things. Um, you'll find boxes of resources. Um, just for people who like micromanaging and just like finding every little fucking thing, this game is is crack. Um, I'm not quite that dude, but like I do enjoy that stuff. But my brother uh, Chevy, he he really loves that kind of thing. So I knew as soon as he started playing this that he'd be hooked. Um, although I'm not finding anything right now, so that's a little discouraging. I was trying to give an example. Watch out for shit that you can knock over. Man, the resources are gone. They they up security here and they got rid of shit. They're just like, stay the fuck away, snake. Stop stealing people. Some common metal here. You got a fucking asshole right there. Analysis complete. Oh, he's he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy, though. You can tell. We look at a guy in binoculars. You can really tell a lot about him. I would. There's. If you played prior Metal Gear Solids, you can like knock on walls to bring people closer. In this, you can lure enemies with your wrist because you have a metal uh, hand. And uh, spoiler alert: if uh, you haven't seen the trailers, um, and he'll come. But I don't know if those guys over there, the ones that are 16 meters away, will come too. So I'm gonna opt out of that for right now. Shit gets bad, I'm gonna blow uh, communications. I'm gonna get rid of my gun and get this dirty ass AK right here. Wow, it's a SVG, whatever the fuck. Jesus Christ, what are you guys doing? Take a look. Oh my god. way to kill these guys either.
Oh, you bitch. All right, we're going loud. We're going loud. This camp is completely done. I almost did it uh, with without alarming anybody, but these guys had to be assholes. I think it's going to do it for our gameplay of uh, Metal Gear Solid. Spoiler free, I hope. Um, aside from shit like this. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and maybe I'll do some more of these. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching uh, my tasty bit on Tasty Loot Gaming. And, uh, We'll see you soon on the next episode. Take it easy, guys.